Welcome back at 530. The decision comes after a fraternity meeting documents revealed alleged references to a rape addict and racist behavior by some members. This scandal led to protests. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is live in Swarthmore with more. Cleve? Well, the alleged illicit behavior is supposed to have happened between 2013 and 2016. That's before many of the members of the fraternity that are current students were ever here, but they voted last night to disband their fraternities. Decades of violence behind this door. An upstairs room they call the rape attic and an underground room freshman girls are warned to avoid. This is one of the two Swarthmore College fraternity houses where years of sexual violence and intoxicated misbehavior allegedly occurred. We believe this is the room where the meeting minutes were actually um, documented. Last month, Swarthmore College's student newspapers published several years of alleged minutes recorded at the two campus fraternities, Phi Psi and Delta Epsilon. They included explicit details of raunchy, racist, and homophobic behavior. It was shocking um, in that people felt that they needed to write down those horrific things. Their own descriptions of their own acts of sexual violence, which is really astounding, I think, to not only know that we see that and name that for what it is, but that they too see it and know how bad it is. This week, protesters took control of the Phi Psi House as school administration suspended all activities at both fraternities and announced an investigation. Under intense pressure to fold, Tuesday night both fraternities announced on social media their intentions to disband and relinquish their houses, which are actually social, not residential halls. We all celebrated last night. Uh, we popped apple cider. <laughs> In their post, Phi Psi said, we are appalled and disgusted by the content of these minutes, which led us to question our affiliation with an organization whose former members could write such heinous statements. We cannot in good conscience be members of an organization with such a painful history. Delta Epsilon added, we hope that our former house will provide a space that is inclusive, safe, and promotes healing. This space is no longer theirs. We are going to reallocate it thoughtfully to the groups on campus who have long been, been denied space and resources at this school. Today's school administration released a letter saying that the external investigation will continue, as well as a task force that's been happening for a while now, looking at all the social activities on campus. We're live at Swarthmore. I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Cleve, thank you.